Welcome back to Andrea Jean Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you an easy, easy way to whiten a mattress, help lift stains, make it smell much better, and disinfect. It's not using baking soda. However, I have used baking soda, but we're going to be using a product that I enjoy even more. If you're new here, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and also in the description box, I have a whole video in which I removed a big old stain on my toddler's mattress right here so it came up very very nicely so if you're looking to remove some tough on stains urine stains any sort of stains make sure that you check that out as well so what product am i talking about here today this is going to be so quick and easy for you because after all that this that's what this channel is all about helping you get on to bigger and better things besides cleaning and organizing all day long let's do it Today we're going to be using some borax. I absolutely love borax. This is a newfound product for me. However, as you can see, it's been around since 1891. So who are we kidding here? I'm a little late to the borax game, but the nice thing about borax, but it will whiten your, your clothing, your items, anything really. And it's, it's a naturally derived product. It's 99.5% of pure borax and it's composed of sodium, boron, oxygen, and water. And you know, I gotta love that, being very pregnant here. So I just have this right here. I just put a, there's no rhyme or reason for the amount of borax that you're gonna be using. I'm just gonna set this aside for a second. I'm gonna use this to help sprinkle it on the mattress, but the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of water. So I wanna dampen the mattress so that the boron, <laughs> the boron, the borax, will adhere to it nicely. Now I am gonna be opening the window, turning a fan on, just to help ventilate and help it dry up a bit more quickly. The nice thing about borax, there's not really a smell, in my opinion, so that is very nice. Now I do have a little Dollar Tree glove here, by the way. These gloves from the Dollar Tree are awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. All right, let's get started here. So I'm gonna just set this aside and bear with me. I'm doing this one-handed. If you've been here a while, you know how that's how I roll. Let's open this up. Oh, and the spray bottle, also from the Dollar Tree. Save you time and money, my friends. Well, that's coming out pretty intense. Let's just fix that here. Do, do, do. Also in the description box, I have a whole playlist about how to clean really anything. I am not loving that. Let me put you down here for a second so I can fix this nozzle. Okay, much better. I didn't want this day to be that intense because it will take uh, much longer to dry. <laughs> so here we go. We're gonna get this pretty generously wet moist however you want to say that i know a lot of people have an aversion to the word moist <laughs> so we're going to do this but i want to know in the description or the comment box have you ever used this method before like i said this is going to get smells out it's going to brighten it and it's also going to disinfect disinfect you know how many disgusting things live on a mattress even though you have mattress pad Yes, and on my son's, we have two mattress pads, so disgusting. I thought this one needed it. I have a video where I did our bedroom, and I did that with baking soda, so that one is in the description box as well. I'm gonna get my cloth a little bit wet. This is an old kitchen cloth, and I just cut them up, and then I use them for cleaning, like so. Okay, let's go ahead and just sprinkle here. I would just go, I mean, I won't get too crazy. Kind of depends upon your mattress and, you know, how much work you got to do. If you've never done this before, well, I would be generous because we're going to do a trick here very shortly that if you put too much on, it's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll get it taken care of. Cleaning a lot of times is not like baking where you need to be super, super precise with everything. That's probably why I love it because um, I'm more of a like a big picture kind of person. <laughs> so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna rub it in and I like to use these circular motions. And again, because we dampened everything, just gonna help work its way through the mattress a little bit better. I'm gonna get the whole mattress here. And you can see there's a big 
clump right there. That's all right. No need to worry. Halfway down here, rub that in. Now, if you have any tough on stains, like I said, I have a whole video, but Borax also does help remove stains. So I would maybe put a little extra on some spots to save you an extra step if you don't have to do an extra stain removal process. And that's why I like this a little bit better than baking soda, because it helps in that way. Good deal. All right, let me back you up here. So this is what we're working with. Now we're gonna let this sit, let the product work its magic. I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes. Again, there's no magic number, but I feel like that's an appropriate amount of time for it to do its job. And then I'll meet you back here and show you the next step. It's been about 30 minutes. So the next step that we're gonna do here is I will go ahead and use this Dyson vacuum here. I broke the handle off our old vacuum and my mom has uh, lent this to me generously for an indefinite amount of time. So thank you, mom, if you're watching this. So let's go ahead and get this vacuumed up here and I will talk about the final, final step. I got that all vacuumed up super quick and easy. You can see the mattress is still pretty wet where I had the sprayer nozzle turn too forcefully. So don't make my error here because it will take longer to dry. My next step here is to make sure this fully gets dried out and it's probably gonna take maybe a couple hours. It's summer right now here in Wisconsin and so we got the windows open, we got the fan on, but super, super easy. Again, give this borax a try if you have not. I definitely would recommend it. Also, if we are not friends on Instagram, make sure you hit me up at Andrea Jean Co. I teach women how to turn their passions into profits, and this cleaning channel is one way that I do that. Thank you so much for being here. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.